I read Piranesi by Susanna Clarke in January of 2022. Uh, so firstly, I should just say that I really enjoyed this book. I highly recommend it. And as many people have said, it's best to not know much before going into this book, but that can be really hard to decide whether you actually want to read it or not. So I think a really good litmus test is these uh, these Piranesi drawings. Like when you look at these, do you want to read a book that is kind of the book equivalent of these Piranesi drawings? When I look at these drawings, it's a total yes for me. I, I want to go down that rabbit hole and into a drawing like this. It also kind of makes me think of my favourite Narnia book, The Magician's Nephew, and the wood between the worlds. So while I'm not going to spoil anything in this review, I am going to discuss the book. So if you want to go in completely oblivious, which I highly recommend, um, I, I, I do recommend doing that because it would be a lot of fun. So this book opens following this character who is a self-proclaimed scientist, and I immediately loved it because I love discovery narratives. It reminded me of Rama. I was just like, yes, please tell me what you found and what you're recording. And I, I just loved his narration so much right from the beginning. Uh, I actually imagined the narrator as younger than I think they said they were just because of their use of language. But it had that day-to-day -day narration of activities and descriptions, which I said is one of my favourite things in books. I just love following characters, especially characters like this, who are in such a bizarre situation as they just go about their day. And the language was just so accessible. Um, th this book is weird. It is a bit odd, but it's not convoluted language at all. It is very clearly written and it's really compelled. Like, oh, you, you feel so compelled to keep reading. You know, it's weird, but it's not uninviting. It wants you to be pulled into this story. You know, I think that some other books try to be weird and they just end up being difficult to read. And that's not what this book is like at all it's weird but inviting it's just you don't know what's going on and there's suspense and intrigue inherent in that and it's the kind of book that I wish I could read again for the first time because it was just so intriguing and that creates this like real drive throughout the whole book I will say for me personally there was a bit of a push pull between wanting the satisfaction of the mystery being re revealed and like knowing what was happening and finding out what was going on but there was also a, a personal sadness a little bit of the m magic going out the more you learn you know I, I enjoyed the beginning section of this book so much and, and I could have stayed in that weirdness and that floating in the ambiguity for a lot longer I, I think it would have definitely been a less well paced book objectively um, and the pacing in this book is impeccable but personally I would have loved it more my love for it did slightly decrease as the book went on however it decreased from like complete adoration to very high enjoyment so I still had like a great time through the whole thing so so yeah the first third first half of this book was a total brilliant experience um, and I highly enjoyed the second half so totally recommend this book not that it needs my <laughs> seal of approval it's very well loved and I can totally understand why